the Clark TV Channel 5 News. I'm Darlington Pelena in Monrovia. Stories topping this edition of the Clark TV Channel 5 News. The former Monrovia Atim Mayor Mary Bro is back in the news. The CDC Secretary General Nathaniel McGee leads a delegation to attend an all African political meeting in Lusaka. Zambia. District number 8 representative Akara Gray on the level playing field bill introduced by Maryland County Representative James Banning. Ten years of lasting peace. Wala Laburan Singh, former Information Minister Dr. Lawrence Ebrople and Model Chief Yaya Nimlin on 10 years of fragile peace across Liberia and away from whom Nigeria dismisses Boko Haram threat. Those are the stories tapping the suggestion of the news does a channel fire cloud tv news i'm darlington pelina most stories in the details Now on the details of the Cloud TV Channel 5 News. Former Monrovia acting Mayor Mary Bro has once again come in the public debate. This time around that the former mayor has assaulted the sanitation director at the Monrovia City Corporation. At today's Senate sitting, Monserrat County Senator Gerard Indo Sheriff brought the situation to the attention of members of the Liberian Senate, but bombing County Senator Sander Johnson was quick to remind his colleagues that the Senate is not a courthouse. Cloud TV Channel 5 News witnessed the debate. People go in the street and wrongfully attack people or wrongfully beat people. We have courts like you, and people must start sometimes to make maximum use of the court system like you. Nobody is, is about the law. Madam Mayor is not about the law. The person that was that was alleged it is an allegation. We are not there. We, know, we, we, we don't know exactly what happened. It's what sort of the show that we are in. So if I stay there at home and go to court, I think I am right. Because we can, we, there is not a courthouse. We are not police people here. So if somebody went, if I went and they to somebody, I'm going to start to make much more use of the court. Mayor Brown is not a white official any longer. Mayor Brown is a private citizen. Our, our idea of. So what is true, what is true that Mayor Brown is hiding in your capacity of private capacity according to the allegation and the information from our colleague, if somebody feels offended by any of our actions against that person, they must go to court. Let me see that waste our time, Madam President. What was that? When they beat at the president for his hand, the battle of the Senate court, or because they were waiting for the last one, Senate. Yeah. 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 When they recognize me, I will make my position on the matter. My point is, I want to know what you I want to know what you think. And we will take an issue on this issue. The person that will show. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm here.
Secretary General of the Main Opposition Congress for Democratic Change, Natania Magay, at the head of a delegation to attend the Executive Council meeting of the All African Political Parties in Lusaka, Zambia. The CDC Secretary General spoke to Cloud TV Channel 5 News in Monrovia. Uh, we are there to discuss issues that affect African countries and our parties and you know, executive council. So, so, so we are going to to derive an agenda for the for the plenary meeting. What are some of those issues affecting Liberia you are going to be putting forth? Well, uh, primarily uh, uh, the agenda hasn't been drafted yet, um, but issues that affect the continent as a whole, how political parties can work together, how we can strengthen our African relationship. I think these are the things we'll be discussing. Um, Liberia, this is the first uh, council meeting, and so therefore we are going there with an open mind. Uh, we would like to listen to our colleagues, what they have to suggest. But we believe that the solidarity of Africa must be of help. I think it's also intended to support what the OA, or the African Union is doing. And so as a party, and as uh, a party that is government waiting, our responsibility is to look at the general interest of our country. And, and so we are going out with an open mind, but we also believe that uh, uh, the unity of African political parties is important. Uh, some of the things we want to address is the fairness of elections. You know, one of the things that brought conflict in this country is the election area, how elections are managed. And most of the time, you see ruling parties have the tendency to try to influence the election. And so we want to encourage our, our colleagues around the continent that the way to keep stability in the country is to make sure that we have free and fair elections. And those who are in power and those who are not in power can realize that once you participate in the electoral process and the results out, everybody can freely accept the results. How do you think unfair elections can be curtailed in Liberia? Well, you know, transparency is, is the process and people need to play by the rules. Both the commission and the, and the player need to play by the rules. Uh, when the rules are clearly established and the actors go by the rules and make sure people can see everything that is happening, uh, the, the credibility of the system is, is very high and people begin to see that. I know life is not 100% fair, but at least 90% there should be credibility and transparency in the process and the rules should be straight and everybody should play by the rules, both the commission and the players, which, which, which are the political parties. And that way everybody can be satisfied and when the outcome is, is, is finally pronounced. Uh, the, the participant can be satisfied that in the uh, we took what we lost or we won fairly. He's the Secretary General of the Me Opposition Congress for Democratic Change there in an interview with Cloud TV Channel 5 News. The plenary of the House of Representatives today passed into law the level playing fee bill. The bill seeks to stop politicians from seeking elective offices while holding onto their appointed positions. District number eight representative Akaras Gray of the main opposition CDC joined his colleagues in advancing the bill, while Grand Bassa County Representative Gabriel Smith defended the passage of the bill. Cloud TV Channel 5 News was at the capital of today's sitting. As members of the law, it says we should test this. Why is it that this bill is requiring executive function or appointees to resign before contesting in an election or participating in a campaign? The reasons are very clear. We have observed all the time that during election year in period. Those that are within the executive, minister, cabinet minister, whatever they be, senior officials of government, that have responsibility to the Liberian people, they neglect their work. I have a classic example of a colleague of mine from Grand Bassa who went for a lane D 
and could not get out because what the deputy minister was not there. To have had a document signed because the, 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 the individual had gone on a campaign trail. So we are saying it is your right to campaign for whomever you want to campaign for. It is your right to participate in elections and vote. It is your right to campaign for vote. But in doing that, do not neglect the Liberian people's work. If you are to do it, leave our work alone. Go on your campaign trail and we'll have people to serve the interests of the Liberian people. This is the background of the bill. Yes. On that basis, my distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I'll appeal to your collective wisdom Thank you. that we pass this bill expeditiously so as to protect the interests of our Liberian people against Thank you. abuses. Thank you. Thank They're debating the level field bill which was passed in the law today at today's sitting. Maryland Senator Dan Moraya says calls by the MPP Chairman Emeritus Siri Allen calling for the resignation of Madam Ellen Johnson Salif as President of Liberia as out of order. Senator Moraya's two cloud TV news that they called by the NPP Chairman Emeritus was tantamount to what he referred to as a mutineer. He called on the Liberian uh, people not to give heed to the words from the MPP former chairman. He spoke to Cloud TV News in Monrovia after today's sitting at the Liberian Senate in Monrovia. We all, we owe you, young people, an apology for what we carry, what we carry you through. Okay. So, sir, as a last question, is, and the I reason want you to come Daniel, to that question, Daniel, is popular uprising constitutional? It's not constitutional. Why? Honor our laws. The freedom to assemble does not mean the freedom to bring down. The freedom to assemble is to petition us. Read our constitution. The freedom to assemble is to petition us, your representatives, to take on your action through the appropriate democratic means. That's what so it says. So when a citizen of Liberia call for popular uprising, that citizen is acting illegally. Oh, it's that amount of mutiny. It's that amount of mutiny. Let's, let's don't jab and no means our word. And I'm, I'm very careful when I say these things. I've gone through So you what think you your former chair of the MPP is must be order. arrested order. by order. now no. and detained no, no. No, no. and be processed it's, for trial? No, it's draconian to ask for the arrest of people expressing the views. Okay. But he's doing something I am in your opinion. I am describing that give me, give me a chance. Don't put words in my mouth. Okay. Question, sir. I'm a diplomat, so I choose my words one <laughs> at a time. Okay? So don't give me words that I'm not gonna use. Go ahead, sir. I'm clear on the issue. I'm saying over the years we submitted this country to confusion. We submitted this country to where it has gone through. And up to this time, we have yet to apologize. If you're going to move up, if you're going to move a pit of water from, from point A to point B, and 
in that process you spill that water on somebody else is there anything wrong to apologize to that person who you spilled the water on is there anything wrong to apologize to the event of history we took young people in the streets here from 1979 two thirds of us have joined this very government that is allegedly exacting the very things that we accuse other people of exacting on the government that was dethroned and that's his point we the have point no moral you, we you have no moral change. rectitude so it's time to we leave the scene for no all young moral people. rectitude we have no moral rectitude mm -hmm. To chastise anybody when we have not chastised ourselves. You're speaking to I'm, I'm speaking to all of those persons who are praying for doomsday. Let me go. Let me go one step back into history. Since the death of William Richard and William V. S. Totman, there has been no democratic administration that lasted for ten years. Start from William Richard Talbot. He didn't go ten years. Samuel Doe, <coughs> not ten years. Charles Taylor, not 10 years. So you pray for your government the last 10 years? We pray that we be able to pass, to go over that precipice. We be able to go beyond 10 years. And then what we said to Jack Lyon some 10 years ago, that democracy can never be achieved in our country until we are ensured that the young people believe once more in the ballot instead of the guns. If we cheat them at elections and if we don't hold elections you know what happens at the end of the day these young people will not know democracy we are on an obligation to ensure that there is a level playing field for all Liberians to participate punctuating the stability of this country will still take power and place it in the hands of another group of people you're not sure in whose hands you're placing it so let me just say this, it is not only the condemnation of the statement, but it's to appeal to young people not to be carried away by us who took them away in the first place. We have not found a solution for them, they are still in the streets. Still we ask hungry. them to fight for us, we ask them to do the worst things for us. We are in here with our coat and ties, enjoying ourselves, they still linger in the street. Nobody should carry them back there. Thank what you, we should be thinking about is how to prepare Liberia in the 21st century on a day. Now, now, now the last Parties to the Labyrinth Conflict, Conversion, Accra, Ghana, where the Comprehensive Peace Accord, the CPE, was signed in 2003. Ten years after, Liberians are celebrating the Peace Accord. Former Information Minister Dr. Lawrence Komlan Brooklyn and former Model Boss Yaya Nimne addressed the regular Information Ministry press briefing in Moroya. Kla TV picks up the stories. We, the people of the Republic of Liberia, acknowledging our devout gratitude to God for our existence as a free, sovereign, and independent state, and relying on His divine guidance for our survival as a nation, realizing from many experiences during the course of our national existence, which culminated in the revolution of April 12, 1918, when our Constitution of July 26, 1847 was suspended, that all of our people, irrespective of history, tradition, creed, or ethnic background, are of one common body politic, exercising our natural inherent and inalienable rights to establish a framework of government for the purpose of promoting unity, liberty, peace, I repeat, unity, liberty, peace, stability, equality, justice and human rights under the rule of law, with opportunities for political, social, moral, spiritual and cultural advancement of our society for ourselves and for our posterity and having realized to live in harmony, to practice fraternal love, tolerance, and understanding as a people and being fully mindful of our obligation to promote African unity and international peace and cooperation do hereby solemnly. They have special forces.
The Southern government had identified Liberians as personal migrants at the Southern. So Liberians were not allowed in Southern. But what they did not know, that 150 men that they referred to as special forces were Liberians, all of them. They were fighting for Sierra for Sierra Leone, or under the Ecomog command. They were wearing Ecomog uniforms. They were wearing Ecomog uniforms. We want Model to step down. Our mission will be accomplished today. Little did I know that President Taylor was on the ground. Um, and I said, well, you know, we have a mission. And the fellow called me and said, whether you got a mission or not, our position is to sit down. And I said, you don't know African politics. So, sir, step down. I said, take And that was the end of the conversation. Did you listen to him? Um, well, you know, when you are in the United States and you got somebody fighting in the bush and ready to come, how do you transmit that information in 24 hours? Um, and then, within the course of 24 hours, they all came back and said, we missed him. And I said, what, what was it? He said, well, we wanted to deliver the indictment to yeah, the President Charles Taylor and, and, and Echo was in the Ghanaian and he said, no. And I said, thank you very much. And that was the end of our conversation. But I decided not to come to, 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 to Liberia. And so I had my delegation on the ground and I said, I'm not interested in leadership. I don't want to be president. I don't want to be anything. All I want is for Taylor to step down and, and let the Liberian people go. Um, the late General Jalo of ECOWAS, um, Ipan Chambers, the uh, ECOWAS Secretary, yes. General Abu Bakr, my phone was just ringing the whole of the time calling me that I needed to come to, like, to, to Africa. And so, um, two days before the, uh, what was it, two days ago? And when I arrived, the first day I arrived, uh, I was always in a fighting mood. I did not believe that negotiation would have been the first, the first thing done. I wanted us to fight in this country. Let us fight until we are convinced that fighting is no longer needed. And people were just meeting me. And, and Ipan Chambas and Abu Bakr followed me and said, Thomas, you have to be nice. And I said, no, this is not a party. I am not going to be nice to anybody. At the time we were negotiating, we signed a ceasefire. Was that in August? We signed a ceasefire in August. Uh, my forces were already in Greenville, and I told the young men and women, stop fighting, the ceasefire has been signed, we prepared to go to July. 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 A week after the ceasefire was assigned, was signed, the, the, the government forces attacked me and took Greenville away from me. And then they moved forward into, into business. For more information, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister Dr. Lawrence Brooklyn and Yaya Nimine, Speaking of 10 years of fragile peace across Liberia. The trial involving 18 Grand Judians charged with mercenarism by the government of Liberia continues today at the Temple of Justice in Monrovia. Defense witness Christopher Labo denied his involvement into cross-border attacks where seven UN Nigerian peacekeepers were killed. He told the government that he has nothing to do with what he referred to as cross-border mercenarism. Dama Johnny, Cloud TV News, was there and he has a report. The 18th individual that are from Grand Jida County continue today at the ground floor of the Temple of Justice to be precise, this court is the criminal court deed. Most of the 18th individual that have been inducted by the government of Liberia, they have been accused of uh, committing missionarism, theft of property, arson, murder, and other crimes. I, so far today, the Defense Council has uh, produced 13 witnesses. They have taken the time and testified in this proceeding. But the last uh, witness who testified in this case today to reason to be rejoined on Monday the 19th day of August 2013. Christopher Lacoste said that he was wrongfully arrested from the gold mine in Gandhida County. He has no idea of the conflict in Africa that led to the execution of the seven UN peacekeepers in the country. This trial, you may recall...
Honorable uh, the Earth uh, Modoc General, the Lord General, uh, for it here. Testifying this proceeding, he said that his home was burned down in Morovia. In the process, the government of Liberia apprehended him, uh, and the sister content was taken to the Morovia Central Prison. There was no reason, he said in his court, that he had no idea of the conflict in Cote d'Ivoire. He had disarmed himself during the disarmament time, his engagement in Liberia, he had involved himself into real estate business during office in Liberia. But he had no idea what government has said that he received 60 million CSA from the Avoran government. The process continues. The trials is creating more and more uh, tensions in this process. He must set security, standing at the background, for burning protection for this guy. And even family members on the daily basis coming to this court to listen to the proceeding here today. The trial has claimed the attention of the international community and already is last on the government of the court to prove this guy guilty of this guy. Before they are coming to court, they spent over 450 days in prison before they were dragged to this court. All eyes is on the government of Liberia to prove this guy guilty in this process. I, the judge of criminal code, Yusuf Kaba, continuing to provide a clear understanding of the picture and constantizing the minds of the jurors to remain more independent in their judgment here today. And from the testimony of all of the witnesses in this court, from the defense side, all, all fingers have been pointed on the county attorney of Mosorado County, J. Daku Moruba, that he has been a collaborator, uh, giving them money, allegedly, to testify against their fellow colleagues. From the Judicial Black TV News, Channel 5, Tama Johnny. And away from home, Nigeria's interior minister says that Amit is making progress in the war against Boko Haram. Boko Haram militants have been uh, terrorizing the population of Nigeria. Despite the killing of 44 people in the mosque, Abab Moro has made the attack as desperate and isolated. The security agencies of Nigeria have been able, he said, to push the Boko Haram set from major neighborhoods, he told the BBC. And Antoine the Cloud TV Channel 5 news we bring you a recap of stories that hit in the headlines. Mary Bro, the former Maria Atencia mayor is once again in the headlines. General debate leads to the situation and the CDC Secretary General Nathaniel Maguire is leading a delegation of all African political parties meeting to be held in Lusaka, Zambia. District number 8 representative Akaras Gray on the level playing fee introduced by Maryland County representative James Bunny. After 10 years of peace, Liberians have been celebrating what they refer to as a fragile peace. On that note, we conclude this edition of the Cloud TV Channel 5 News. Darlington Pelena, Cloud TV News, Monrovia.